Hi guys, this is Vidas and today I'll do a quick video about uh, what is the minimum quality video and audio equipment required uh, to actually record quality organ music. Um, right here you see very advanced uh, equipment, uh, Hauptwerk setup, uh, three cameras, uh, right? Uh, uh, one from the side, one from the top on the keyboards, one for the pedals and of course uh, separate uh, audio microphone for my talking but it's not that um, required uh, to have everything if you're just starting out uh, to record your organ music organ playing, maybe recitals, something like that or have you maybe uh, recorded something uh, but notice that something is not right, the quality is not good so today I will uh, share with you some of the tips that that you can apply in your recording sessions and your minimum recording and audio uh, and video uh, equipment so I think um, uh, you can get away with just one camera and just one external uh, audio device external audio device uh, is probably best if you record uh, uh, quality organ music uh, and you want to put it uh, uh, further from the pipes uh, not close to your console but further in the in the pews maybe uh, somewhere where uh, where the room is reverberating and the microphone stereo mic uh, could be um, catching all those beautiful vibrations and sounds uh, around the room so the, the mic that I'm using in my church, of course I'm now at, at the home and I don't use it right here, but uh, when I'm in the church I use Zoom H4N uh, recorder, audio recorder, and uh, it produces really good sound for, for uh, quality organ music. Um, and also I use uh, for video, three uh, zoom Q2N 4K cameras uh, they're basically video recorders they also go have good uh, good microphones specifically designed for musicians uh, for for live concerts practice sessions things like that but uh, I, I sometimes I use their mics uh, in, solely without external uh, audio equipment but but you see then I cannot really uh, go to the church uh, to the pews and and put uh, put the audio recorder further further away from the organ so so this zoom uh, h4n recorder is really good I will put the links in the description of this video for all the uh, devices and uh, equipment that uh, that I mentioned in this video so that you can click and check them uh, out yourself so so yes zoom uh, works really well for organ recordings uh, zoom specifically uh, h4n and uh, and that's it for sound right you you only want to have a good video and for video I really recommend this widescreen shots from Zoom Q2N, Q2N 4K. It's, it is a very quality video recorder. And um, you can actually connect um, uh, both of those devices to your computer. And uh, then the post-production and editing and syncing is not complex at all. I'll talk about it a little bit later because you see sometimes I get uh, questions from people from organists basically who, who want to record themselves but but uh, find either equipment very expensive or uh, or it, it is really time consuming to edit and sync a video with audio in post production and that could be true right if you record yourself separately with the video recorder and then separately with with the audio recorder and then you have to transfer the files files to the computer and then with the video editing program 
uh, sing them together, edit, you know, make make it a movie. And especially if you have several video cameras, several cameras angles, then you have to uh, rearrange things, right? Uh, split the files, and this is really complex. Uh, I'm not advising that for the beginners or people who don't have the time to do it. I think the most important today for for organ music is good quality sound. Uh, video uh, video is uh, required as basically as as good as possible but without overdoing it you can have ma many uh, additional things many uh, effects multiple camera angles uh, frames like i use and things and changing multiple camera angles that's that's really good but uh, for beginners uh, the effect is um, overwhelming and the, the it's best to really invest your focus into into audio right so i recommend really uh, for starters this zoom uh, h4n device and of course uh, just one camera for starters well if you want if you want to 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 record the pedals right separately then then you need a separate camera maybe a second second uh, zoom Q2 and 4K device, and uh, for bo all of them you need uh, obviously some kind of tripod. Earlier I used uh, mini tripods, which basically are selfie sticks, but with tripod uh, base. It, they could be put on on the ground for of, uh, to film the pedals, or they could uh, could. Uh, uh, work uh, in extend extended version. They are like I think 94 centimeters long if you extend them. They're very good too. Um, but I don't use them anymore because uh, I have uh, this boom microphone stand uh, converted into a tripod, a special special camera tripod overhead, and then the same is for the for the camera uh, that's facing me right uh, from this side except uh, for the pedals I still use this mini mini uh, selfie tripod tripod because the the height is not that important there down down there right so what else do you need of course cables if you if you if you connect those uh, devices to a computer then it really saves time you can uh, you can actually select um, uh, the camera as a as a video device, as a video web webcam. So the Zoom Q2 and 4K can work as a webcam. This is really great. And the same is for the audio device, uh, Zoom H4N. This can be uh, connected with the computer, and computer can recognize it. Uh, as a separate audio external audio device and uh, i'm using right now if you can see it on the screen on a bigger screen i'm using obs studio right here this is a free software uh, and you can you can do a lot of complicated things uh, with obs studio like selecting video sources audio sources mixing them together and um, and then muting some of the sources when you have to play of course when i play the organ then uh, then my mic is muted uh, so that it wouldn't pick up uh, my my talking or the um or the external sounds that i'm i'm banging the on the keys you so like 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 this one you can still hear right me hitting the the keys and this is not good for for quality audio audio recording for hauptwerk right so i mute whenever i start to play and don't need my voice i mute my uh, audio device which captures my voice and by the way i'm using uh, a rode lavalier go microphone it's connected uh, to the uh, external mic uh, of the of the uh, zoom q2 and 4k overhead right here 
and uh, it has a long cable i have um, several long cables cables two three five meters long it depends on 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 where is your computer and uh, and camera located uh, away from the keyboards away from you talking uh, i believe there are even longer cables you see you could buy 10 10 meter cable 15 meter cab cable and then your computer could be really further away from you so i could i could imagine in the church for example uh, you could uh, you could leave uh, you could leave your computer somewhere in the balcony but you have a long cable descending in the pews you see or with with extensions of cable extensions this is usb cable right so it could be with extensions and going uh, to the middle of the church uh, where you put this zoom uh, h4n device right to record the audio but it's all connected with a long cord uh, to the computer right and you uh, you control everything uh, from above from upstairs that's 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 really really handy to have several long cables and um, that's about it right uh, what else you need uh, something uh, right to capture the the audio something to capture the video and maybe your voice three things basically and the stands for each of the device if you need them a longer ones a shorter ones sometimes if you need um, the lights you see some of the uh, it's an artificial light right here uh, i have usb lights uh, around me one one for pedals and three for manuals uh, two in front of me one behind me it it gives good uh, decent lighting uh, it's not perfect of course but it's acceptable right so so i really recommend investing light sometimes um, when you feel comfortable to do it more but not perhaps not at the beginning at the beginning is more more important to invest into good quality um, audio um, recorder video recorder and maybe lavalier mic that's it for if you want to talk so of course not uh, you can get away uh, without the lavalier mic if you let's say talk into the camera uh, which which could capture your sound as well and then the moment you finish talking you mute it uh, in the in the obs studio you mute it and go go to play uh, on, on the uh, on the organ bench right and then of course it has to be muted whenever you play but some people leave it open and have multiple mics around the church and you have really stereo uh, surround sounds going f that's also very good um, I haven't done this myself but uh, my friend James Flores for example combines all the audio sources into one um and and uh, that gives him surround sound so i hope this video was useful to you please uh, check the description of, of of this video for the links i will put uh, all the links to video cameras and and um, audio devices and uh, mics uh, in there so that you could check them out yourself and decide what's what's good for you uh, i think the reason that you're watching this video is is probably you want to you see to record yourself and this is really really good good motivation to record yourself to have a, a like a public record or even you want to stream things but with streaming is complex because um, it depends um, on your internet connection and i don't well, don't always recommend streaming if if you don't have a cable connection with the computer uh, and modem uh, because because if you only use wi-fi uh, while streaming then it's it might be unstable and i can testify myself uh, it works very well for the phone conversations right but when whenever you have to stream a large quantity of data over the internet like organ music is uh, it's it's sort of unpredictable so for this obs studio is really good because you can record yourself there no, uh, there is this button start streaming 
and there is this button start recording you can do both even at the same time to have a backup recording if your stream streaming software breaks or, or or internet connection breaks so sometimes i also record both and stream as well at the same time but at the minimum you could start click start recording and have a video recording after your the session which you can directly upload to to to, to platforms like youtube facebook and anywhere else online you see very easy uh, so, so yeah, it seems like things can be complex, and it, it, it is, yes, but for starters, you don't have to do all of those things right now. You just have to have good foundation, like good, good sound, good video, and maybe a good microphone for, for your voice. That's it, three things. And, um, and, and the, the source, the, the, the the software that connects it all into the computer then you need don't need to worry about editing of course if you if you if you have time and you know what to what you are doing then uh, recording separate sources and syncing them in 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 post production um, on the computer is even better because it produces even better sounds right but uh, as you can hear in my recent videos the sound is uh, quite quite good you see even when i'm connecting those directly into obs studio so for basics for starters i really uh, don't recommend things to over complicate things better to focus on on uh, your quality playing right to practice more you don't want to spend hours and hours to figure out figure out the, the technicalities of, of your connections and tools and equipment and spend a small fortune also maybe maybe for starters really keep it keep it simple thanks guys this was Vidas I hope this was useful to you please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so click uh, a thumbs up uh, maybe leave a comment uh, what uh, what you think about this video and uh, thank you so much for supporting uh, me on patreon it's really really appreciated uh, you give me the ability to keep going with these videos and i, I give you in in return access to the early uh, videos uh, early access before they are published anywhere else online all right thank you and uh, i'll catch you online in the next video very soon bye for now